All right, my friends, here is Frosty LaRue with another video. Will all ARPG players love Diablo 4's expansion? Back you, Diablo Best 4. And I guess Path of Exile, Last Debak, and any other ARPG super fans. This super video fans. is for all you Diablo 4 skeptics who have been on the fence about playing this magnificent game, or at one time did play, and for some stupid ass reason, I, I mean, super legitimate and not dumb at all reason, stop playing this perfect game. I will be going over the major changes and new features in the Diablo 4 expansion and why Thousand you are going to love it. So first up, the skill tree. Yes, I know many of you no, coming no. from PoE and Last Epoch have thrown some shade at our beloved skill tree. Like what is this shit? It's too complicated for a Diablo player, yes? I can only choose this upgrade I have to take and then left or right. But what the hell is this, man? Where do I have to go? <laughs> ...saying, it's so simple. It doesn't have any meaningful options, and it looks more like a skilled twig. Well, I have great news that's going to blow your freaking mind with the completely revamped skill tree. Now, at first glance, you're probably a bit overwhelmed. So let me make this simple for you. Let's zoom into this section that changed. Oh, no, no, not th that's the same. Okay, maybe a bit more down. <gasps> ah, yes, that's it. You see how we have this line here? I mean, it's actually a good change, but yeah, I mean, it's a very minor change. They didn't really say they want to rework the skill tree, right? They just added a new skill for each class. So yeah, okay. It's a very minor thing, but you know, it helps. Like, what the hell? This is a game changer. No, no it's not, but okay, like... <laughs> I mean, I can see how you can take it like this, but I mean, it's just a little bit of quality of life. It was not really like a feature that was sold. It's more about the new skills. Longer will we need to take this node to take this node? Can you even Bro. imagine what we can do with this extra skill point? All the meaningful Yo. skill options are probably endless now. Five you see that last epoch? You thought Blizzard wasn't going to come close to your ability skill tree. But dare I say, I think we blow yours out of the water now. Oh, and I did not forget about you Path of Exile players who think building our classes are too easy. Well, what if I told you that the complexity now comes in our Paragon board? Maybe the most fun upgrade system ever in any ARPG. I know- Dude, like here, I would have think it would have been so cool if you had glyphs that had different shape. Like how about you have a glyph that goes like straight. You know, like, instead of, like, going, like, on the outside, it just goes, like, in a straight line. Or, I don't know, you have a glyph that goes, like, uh, X or something, and then it would multiply, like, your legendary node. You know, like, it, it boosts, like, these uh, nodes here, and then it boosts this one, and just keeps going all the way. And uh, you upgrade it like this or something, like, other shapes. I mean, that would have been cool. Maybe the most fun upgrade system ever. Because this is, like, yeah, I mean, it's not really, like, very intuitive. Like, if you had some crazy stuff, you know, like, they go diagonally... Or they just go like an arrow or something. I don't know, like some other shapes. Any ARPG. I know many of us Diablo 4 fans were asking for a revamp to this system. And the Diablo 4 team sure listened with the new and vastly improved. This is actually like almost accurate now. Because the Paragon boards are kept to 5. And um, if you're using like the Headhunter, the Challenger Glyph. Like you actually want to like put all the points in. So this might sound like a newbie mistake. But, I mean, with uh, the cap of five Paragon boards, I mean, we almost get there. Proved Paragon boards. Look at this. He just puts in all the points. Yes. What's changed, you ask? Well, unlike before, we are now locked to only five P boards. And because a lot of our major defensive options come from here, we can no longer... <laughs> okay, this is stupid. ...longer <laughs> just copy a build from Max Roll for top <laughs> DPS, oh, as we need to make sure we hit certain defensive breakpoints based on the gear we currently have in relation to the torment difficulty we are on. Oh jeez, how fun. I am sure the average Diablo 4 player is going to be so freaking pumped to be doing this type of advanced thinking. And I know, for a fact, you will too in the upcoming expansion for Diablo 4, Vessel of Hatred.
Anyway, for those eagle-eared out there, you may have just heard me say Torment, and thought to yourself, oh my god, Torment difficulty? Just like the difficulty system in Diablo 3, where we had- We need Torment 16, man. 16 levels of this shit, where 15 levels of them were just useless at endgame, because everyone was on the max level anyway. I- th there's gonna be a spoiler alert, man, what's gonna happen in D4? Well, you're damn right. The Diablo 4 Giga Chads over at Blizzard brought this system back, but instead of 16 levels, we have 4 levels. And instead of 15 useless ones, we only have 3 useless ones. Now, if that didn't just make you want to buy this... I mean, I think in the end game, it's always gonna be like that, right? You're just gonna play on the hardest difficulty, that's it. But that doesn't mean it's useless, because you have like a progression step. Like, you, you can't just start your character on Torment 4. Like, you start on Torment 1, and then you, like, progress your way there. But yeah, in the end game, Torment 1, 2, 3 are gonna be useless, most likely. But that doesn't mean they're completely useless, because this is, like, the progression, like, the, the stepping stones, if you will. But, I mean, I see his point, for sure. Expansion for the low, low price of one last epoch plus five dollars, because no way in <laughs> One last epoch plus five dollars. <laughs> yeah, 40 bucks, I think it's still pretty cheap, guys. Reaper of Salts. Expansion for Diablo 3, like about 10, 12 years ago, was $40. And we usually have inflation, but now Diablo 4 expansion is still $40. And there's no early access, contrary to popular belief. Time zones are difficult, but the USA is not getting early access. The Earth is not flat. It's launching at the same time for everybody. No early access, no matter where you live, no matter if you pay more money. Same time, same launch for everybody, and that's a W. Hell would Diablo stoop down to that low price then maybe this next feature will convince you. So, we all know max level in Diablo is 100. Hell, even Path of Exile and Last Epoch are 100. So with the expansion, you would assume the Diablo 4 team was going to pull some epic move and make Hell the yeah. level cap something like 300. 200. Well, think again. Instead of going with something that made sense, they made the new level the most perfect number of all time, 60. Why 60, you ask? Well, if I have to tell you, then it's probably not even worth- I mean, at this point, he wants to misunderstand. The level is 300. If the max level was 100 before, he counted the Paragon points. So, technically, the max level was 50, and now it's 60. It doesn't go down from 100 to 60. I mean, he's just comparing apples with oranges. But yeah, I, I can see how it's funny, <laughs> for sure. Worth telling you. I, I actually don't know. But anyway, you may think this lower level will be easier to hit max level in. Well, actually, it takes a bit longer, which is exactly what we all wanted, right? Now, before I get to some of my favorite new features, I want everyone to know that one feature, maybe the most renowned, most awesome, most super renowned. great feature in Diablo history is making its way back. Thank you so and much. without further <laughs> ado, you wanted it, you asked for it, you loved it. Finding Altars of Lilith is bad game design straight up. I don't like it. Altars of Lilith are bad. D4 bad. PC general discussions. It, Altars of Lilith statues are back. And we'll be helping you in the renowned grind in the new zones. Man, guys, the, the new zone is super cool. It looks super nice. I think it's gonna be fine. Like, just finding, like, I don't know, what is it? Like, gonna be 20, 30 Altars in the new zone? It's gonna take like a few minutes and you're done with that and you're uh, exploring a nice new zone. I don't think it's too bad, but okay, I see how it's annoying to people. Yes, you heard me right. Everyone's favorite part of Diablo 4, renowned grinding. And Altars of Lilith hunting are back. Damn, I can literally feel your excitement through the screen. Now, before you shut down this video and go immediately Farm buy Vessels of Hatred, I got a few more things I want to tell you about this awesome expansion. Our first new Let's system go. added to the game in this coming expansion is Rune Words. I know, I know. These were from Diablo 2. <sighs> I need this enigma in the game, man. Plus one to teleport. Come on on Bob. Please. Ja, ich bär. But it's new to Diablo 4, okay? There are many new runes with many new abilities, such as summoning wolves that don't do any damage or give oh, your character cool. teleport. But oh no no, it, it's not like Enigma, where you d actually gotta teleport. This this replaces your dodge, where that is now like a three meter teleport. And instead, um, but okay, don't worry about that. There are like two or three really cool rune words out there that are actually good 
and I'm sure everyone will be using the same ones, just like they did in Diablo yeah, they balance it. Another new update to the game is the number squish. So yeah, you ever just looked at a piece of gear and thought, wow, 500 agility is way too high? I wish it was maybe like 50. Or holy crap, did I just hit for 1 billion damage? I really trillion? wish it was something more like 1,000 damage. Well, they heard us, and supposedly a number squish has been implemented. Or so we thought. Wait. Wait, who is this Wait, guy? Wait, look at this. This video pride We've pause reached it, boys. AF. It's just an infinity sign. <laughs> yes, we did it. <laughs> well, guys, I think the number squish worked very well, yes? Look. Can you pronounce this number? <laughs> Wait. Wait, look at this. <laughs> We've reached it, boys. Never done before. It's just an infinity sign. Yes. No, it is, we're dealing eight damage. Do you see this? People in my chat just said, Rob, man, why are you only dealing eight damage? It's a drunken eight on the side, yes? <laughs> we did it. No more numbers. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm sure they'll figure that out before launch. <laughs> Up next, we have the new uh, endgame co-op dungeon. Because there is nothing us ARPG players want more than for our game to have more MMO elements in it, like a horse or content where you are required to interact with people. But for those of you who have no one to play with, I feel like Diablo players just don't like people. With, you know I mean, who- I completely don't mind. I really like to play with you guys. I really like to play with the community, with my friends, with other people. But I know many players don't, and I don't think it's good to force them, right? You are. Well, great news. Blizzard is implementing a group finder, which I'm sure will be filled with the most kind and well-mannered players on the internet. There's gonna be no And I flaming. bet they won't be toxic at all if you are just trying to learn the mechanics for the first time. Well, guys, if you have not been convinced by now to pick up Vessel of Hatred, then this last bit of info may just be the straw that broke the cow's back. Every new expansion since Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, uh -huh. we have gotten a new class, and this expansion is no different. But instead of the one most beloved class and archetypes of all time, the Paladin, the Diablo, Diablo 4 devs 4 thought you should first experience their new idea for a Anyone class. Anyone doing anything worthwhile in this game always does it alone. I mean, I like playing a group, but I, I get it that many people don't like it. But yeah, thanks for the support. Man, look at the druid here climbing a rope. The Diablo 4 devs thought you should first experience their new idea for a class, the Spiritborn. This will be like... I think people will be surprised by the Spiritborn though. I also, guys, I'm with you. I also wanted the Paladin. But there's always next expansion. I think the Spiritborn is very cool. Like, I think people underestimate, like, we're gonna have a lot of fun with the Spiritborn. If you ever went to a concert, and all you wanted to hear was your favorite song the band is known for, but had to sit through two hours of their new music, just waiting until they finally play that song that you came here for in the I first place. Too. Well, yes. that's the exact feeling you will have with the spirit born. I know I love that feeling, and I am sure you will too. That's it for this video. I hope to see you all in Sanctuary on October 8th. Or don't. And you can just keep playing that dead game while all of us cool and super awesome people are playing Diablo 4. Bye. Guys, ask us questions. Let's go. So, Spiritborn's the next class. If you guys could pick a class after that, what mm. would you want next? Not Paladin. Get Ben. Wow. Flame me in chat. Paladin's the worst class in this a, game. Oh man, Mac just likes the Necro too much. Not Paladin? Guys, next class is gotta be a Paladin, man. I mean, they don't have to call it Paladin, but it needs to be a Holy Warrior, Sword and Broad, Shield, Sword, Blasting. It's gotta be the Paladin. I think, I think that's a bad call, man. Yeah, we no. don't even have the Holy Archetype. I know, I know. I... <laughs> it's a bad no, call. No, that's bad, guys. No, that's a... Call Macro, you call suck. No. <laughs> yeah, that's the video, my friends, here from Frost LaRue. Well, I wanted the Paladin, and I'm sure we'll get a Paladin. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. So maybe in 2025. Let's go. Frosty LaRue video. <laughs> Log in. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. 
I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.